Hi guys, today I am going to explain class 11th morphology of flowering plants. In that we are going to see part 1 that is the root. In root we are going to see the packs first of all. First one is the dicotyledon. The flowering plant with an embryo that bears cotyledon that is seed leaves. Second is monocotyledon. A flowering plant with an embryo that bears a single cotyledon that is a seed leaf. Next is third point the radical. The part of a plant embryo that develops into a primary root. Next is in majority of the dicotyledonous plants the direct elongation of the radical leads to the formation of primary root which grow inside the soil. It bears lateral roots of several orders that are referred to as secondary tertiary roots etc. The primary roots and its branches constitute the taproot system example mustard and radish. In monocotyledons plants the primary root is short deep and is replaced by a large number of roots these roots originate from the base of the stem and constitute the fibrous root system example wheat and coconut in some plants roots arise from parts of the plant other than the radical are called adventitious root system example grass monstera and banyan tree the main functions of roots are Absorption of water and minerals from the soil, providing a proper anchorage to the plant parts, reserve food material, synthesis of plant growth regulators. Please like, share and subscribe my channel.